Imagine one moment if you have uh, in your flat some water or you don't have water or either electricity, what are you going to do? But now for those who are in their farm, they have water that is not useful. That means we need to bring some solution. That is why the team where I am the leader surrounded with two PhD ladies, we have decided to identify some problems, specifically in the urban, and secondly, also around the mining sector. The water that you can see is present over there, but once they are in your borehole, they will be like the brine wastewater, containing heavy metal such as copper, uh, magnesium, and so on. Therefore, we need to bring some solution. This solution is a biological product manufactured by us in our lab in UNISA, Florida campus, capable to adapt, that is the bacteria, allophilic bacteria, that would be consuming our brine wastewater to release pure water for our middle income crops farmers in the country. So we are in the lab and we are going to produce this so that the water can be clean. Secondly, how it works? You take just the powder, you open the lid, that will uh, bore hole, and then you introduce your powder. After five days, you will be watering your, your farm to have those vegetables as you can see. This one has been produced in our lab and now is going to sustain the goal, the SDG1 in South Africa, and also enable other people to move forward with farming activities in our country. Thank you. Okay, judges, have we got any questions? What happens to the bacteria that absorb the copper or, or whatever products uh, extract from the water? Thank you for your question. Those bacteria are able to adapt, consume. Therefore, when you are going for your farming activity, they will be going to your soil, do the same process, and clean that area because that area is polluted already. They are not going to die. It's just the process of bioremediation, meaning that they are going to consume.